three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody and welcome back to Mission Control for a quick tips video. In this video we're going to talk about ML menu or moving light menu. As you can see here I have the Titan Go interface on version 13 uh, and on here our key is here ML menu. Uh, it used to be called moving light menu uh, from the classic days of the console. So if you were to select some fixtures as such as our BMFLs and then press ML menu, we can see that we have locate fixtures in here. This is where it used to, again used to be here in Classic. There wasn't a dedicated key for it. So we hit locate, we can see that it locates our fixtures. If we go and reselect them again, and then hit ML menu, uh, we have macros. So the macros here are going to be stuff that's built into the fixture uh, to be able to do things with it, such as lamp on, uh, resetting the pan and tilt, reset the color, uh, resetting gobo. You usually find lamp off and resetting or homing the fixtures out uh, in this menu. What's all going to be in it is going to depend on the fixture and what features it contains. As you see here, we've got a lamp off. I turn the wireless DMX on or off in it. It's built in move in dark. Uh, set the lamp strength, uh, fan modes, and other things. If we were to select different fixtures, such as our Beam 150s, we can see that there's no lamp on because these are an LED fixture, so there's no lamp to on or off on them. We also see down here in parentheses, it has the number of fixtures you have selected right now, so you'd know if you didn't have all your fixtures selected or how many of you had selected that were going to perform the function that you gave it. If we select our BMFLs again, and we'll go ahead and throw a locate on them, and we're going to zoom beam, zoom zoom down on our beam just to make things a little bit more obvious when we do this. The next thing we have is called flip, pan, and tilt. So if we go ahead and take our fixtures and put some tilt on them, and we'll throw a little bit of pan on them here also. If we click flip, pan, and tilt, we can see the fixtures basically do the invert of what they were doing before. Still point at the same place, just the opposite values. That might be a little easier to see on the full version of Capture here. So we see how the fixture's up. I click ML menu and then flip the fixtures. We can see that they move around to the opposite way they were. Or I can click it again and get it the same. If you select the fixtures again, hit ML menu. Last item would be Align Fixtures, which we will cover in another video. So that's the ML menu, a great way to be able to locate your fixtures. Maybe if your locate button uh, has been damaged uh, or to get to the macros for lamping on and off your fixtures or uh, resetting their pan and tilt either during a show or during programming so that they are uh, running correctly if they're having an issue. And also being able to flip the pan and tilt uh, to maybe get an invert value uh, to be able to have the fixtures move in the way you want without having to uh, move them manually. Thanks for joining us. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe. See you next time. Bye. Wheel stop. Roger. Wheel stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.